program is something that the city in Santiago about four years ago. It's a partnership with Queen's and Trinity. As part of the curriculum for master's science students, we put in a we worked with the universities to put a module in there where the students created a minimum viable product. The access that these students get to people in a real enterprise situation is is unparalleled. This is they're, they're getting straight into the middle of, a, of one of the largest banks in the world. So if they could crack a large company like ours, the market opens up for them. We are Avia Labs. We're a team of four final year students from Queen's University of Belfast. Um, we all do computer science and win our master's year. Our idea surrounds uh, is in the area of interactive tourism and using Internet of Things and big data to make experiences better for both tourism, attraction owners and their attendees. Well, the Belfast startup scene is just really blossoming at the minute. Like more and more companies are coming onto it, and more and more startups are beginning up. And uh, it's still behind Dublin, I'd say, but it's catching up with the kind of uh, science park getting more and more popular and more and more support being provided. Things such as Belfast Enterprise Academy or this competition that we're at here, City Upstart, and there's just there's just more. It's growing. We have two master's programs involved and they're both very technical degrees from the um, School of Computer Science and Statistics, one on networks and distributed systems and one on uh, mobile and ubiquitous computing. So I think the, the students have a, that, that strong technical background but this program that brings together the business innovation and the actual development of a product through to, towards thinking about startup is a really really good experience for them. We come from Trinity College and uh, our project is Social Camp. Uh, it's an ecosystem which is based on real time and geographic location. We could help the users to find the right product in right location right now. It can also help some sellers to find the customers with high possibility. Yeah. Maybe just right now we focus on study, we need knowledge and we need a lot of experience. But after master's study, we will go to a company and develop ourselves. Yes. The divide between formal education at third level and formal employment post third level uh, really now has to be penetrated in different directions. This is really the reverse of people getting work experience before they're qualified. This is in fact the real world getting student intervention or experimentation or exploration while they're still studying. And it is breaking down that kind of barrier, that wall between the two. And really City are to be congratulated, as indeed are the students who've actually presented here today. So our business is called FeedTrack and we're targeting, targeting the review market. So we've identified that uh, typically customers after, the, after they make a purchase, they don't give any feedback to other customers about their experiences or more importantly to the business. And we're working with local businesses, encouraging them to provide small rewards and incentives for the consumer to take their phone out and spend 30 seconds giving us some feedback. And on the other side, uh, we've, we've developed a smartphone application on Android and iOS and it simplifies the whole process. A few taps, eight taps, maybe 15, 20 seconds and you can give feedback, quality feedback to, to the business. We've seen that there is a lot of ventures out there for us to carry out and uh, as investing now, as you mentioned, is uh, upcoming. It's still pretty new but it is quite useful to see. It's good for market research, see what's happening and what, where we can target and things like that. So basically we are making a product named Describe which is, which is short for digitally prescribed. So as you may see that uh, still Till now, the uh, process of medical medicine prescription is still very trivial. People are using pages and uh, the store staff is just reading those pages. So we are trying to digitize the whole process. When you try to make a startup from out of your findings, the th important thing is to realize is that the, all the market aims is to earn money. No one cares about your benchmarks results and that is a very difficult leap. We are virtual guide. So we have developed an app that revolutionizes how the traditional tourism works. What we do is take curated information from the tourist center, put it into our servers, and then supply it to any user at the end who can just see it through his phone. So we, what we do is put geographic location and camera location and basically pro provide a, a virtual reality view to the user. That replaces your tour guide, basically. We think, uh, first of all, our our app definitely has a huge potential market and then we are we already have a prototype about as you can see here but some of the problem related is like the infrastructure cost and all these so we have to probably think more about like the uh, the size of the database and all these so we can improve our app a little bit and that will be achieved in the industry Spark is a social media management website which consolidates all your social networks. It's based for small businesses who have multiple social networks um, to post to uh, cross networks like with one dialogue box. 
when we were researching for our business, there was something like 8,000 businesses in Belfast, 6,000 of which were small businesses, which is what we're aiming at. So I'd imagine a lot, quite a lot of those are startups. There, there's quite a good uh, structure for it in Belfast. You know, you have Invest NI you know, right in the middle there, and uh, plenty of places to go to for funding. So yeah, I'd say it's a pretty good environment for a startup. We believe that the best plan and the team that exhibited a real business, and I put a caveat, okay, because we all deliberated the execution aspect of this and the validity of the market. And we believe that with partnerships with City and companies like City that, that are involved in the process, uh, Sosacon is the number one winner. So in the other school, <laughs> Queens, <laughs> okay, uh, I think uh, the one that really stood out to us. This team really had a very complete offering, capabilities, team, and also the enthusiasm to really drive it out into the marketplace. And for that, that was visible.